All right, guys, I made a couple updates to my extension. It has been officially published by Google Developer Console, and so you can actually download it yourself right now if you wanted to. YouTube Community Search. Basically, I got tired of not being able to find my old polls. I run a ton of polls on my YouTube channel, and if I want to find anything over like a couple months to a year old or older, I can't find it unless I want to sit there scrolling all day. Um, so now I can find them immediately. So let's say I've wanted to find my oldest stuff. I could just sort by ascending. And so because YouTube doesn't provide post data through their API, there's only so many posts you can access. I think they give you like 500. So in my case, it's the last four years, I believe, uh, because I just post that much. So you can click on it and go to it. it. Takes you right there, no matter how old it is, which I think is very useful functionality. And so if you want to upload a zip file of a certain time frame, let's say you wanted like 2018 to 2020, there's functionality, just go to upload zip file, upload your own zip file, just like that, and then you're done. Click home and it automatically refreshes for you. I also added a refresh button, so let's say you're on sort by impressions, you want to go back to how it was, sorted by date, just refresh. And so just to show you how to install it, I'm going to uninstall this extension and reinstall it just to show you. I'll show you. It's super easy, though. So when you first go in, it's going to instruct you that no data is loaded. You need to click the blue update button and get latest data. And this is where it's going to ask you for your channel ID. And that is just right here. Starts with the U. When you go to your analytics, or your YouTube channel is just right after channel in the link right there. And so you're going to copy paste that control C and control V to paste it and enter. Boom. And then it takes you to where your post information is located in the analytics. Like I said, this is the workaround I had to do because there's no post information in the API. So this is the only way to access the post information. So you're going to download the latest post data and it's going to grab the zip file. And that's it. As soon as that's done, it's going to instruct you to select the file that was just downloaded. And you're done. There's some of the data. It just gives you a little bit of a preview. And there you go. There's your data. After you do this step, you won't have to do this again. You're done. Unless you remove the extension and reinstall it, then you'll have to do it. You can search by all kinds of different things. It gives you all of the posts that match that search. Seven likes, like rate, which is percentage of likes compared to impressions. These are your impressions right here. It's also response rate. So if you want to sort by response rate, for example, it gives you all the highest response rates first. So let's see what got so many responses. That one always gets a lot of response. Not a ton of impressions. The one that got the most impressions was this one. But like I said, this is brand new functionality. And so probably more useful to me than most YouTubers, but I, I've, so far I found it incredibly useful. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think.